stop eating potato chips. Now, this is a Cameron wrapper, and I will say this, um, somehow, there's a, a somehow, very delicate. Right there, a common point, um, I don't know if I, if I nicked it with my finger uh, before or now, but I see that, and I'm aware of that. So if any issues happen, um, I will take the blame, because that's not the cigar's fault. Luckily, it's, it's low. So hopefully, whatever, burn right through it. This is the LFD, Cam LFD Cameron cabinet. Why am I smoking this? Well, besides Uncle Larry sent it to me. Shut up, appreciate it. Why am I smoking this? Um, I just smoked the Red Dot yesterday. So it, doing stuff in, in, in similar time, it's much easier to have more accurate comparison. That way it's not like a granddad. Back in my day, well, if you smoke, the red dot last year and today i smoked lfd cameroon i could say well you know what maybe i like this one better or why this one's stronger but i'm telling you memory is not always the best perception memory is is an idea and it could be there but there could be a lot a lot of loss um it's just like we accurately measured two, the same cigar to, twice last week um one right out of the box and one with three days of uh, dry boxing, and we saw clear difference of, of more power. This has been in the dry box for about a week. So, I mean, it, it's been there, just same long as, as the red dot. So we're expecting this to have uh, good intensity. It's not, it's not too moist. Um, now, so of course we're just gonna see how good this cigar is. We like LFD, it's a good brand. The other question is, how does it stack up to the red dot? It's the same size for Busto. Which one's stronger? Which one's heavier? Which one's darker? Which one has a longer finish? Which one has a, a better profile? What are both profiles compared? We, we reviewed the red dot, we posted that. So and we know how great that shit was. Absolutely great. The question is, you know, you know, can this one be equal? Um, should could this one be stronger? It should be. LFD is generally making very strong stuff. This is advertised as Dominican fillers. Uh, Cameron wrapper, Dominican binder, but uh, Cigar Aficionado in one of their reviews of when in one twelfth place, I don't know what year, in the chisel. The chisel one had Nicaraguan also in the filler. So I don't know if they made a special blend for the chisel. I don't know, I don't care. We're just gonna review this cigar. It's Cameroon. If I had to guess, the red dot is sweeter than this. Before I like, now that's just the, I guess. And maybe we'll be surprised. Yeah, it was just a popular cigar, it, you know, it's, Talk to guys, guys smoking. Is it, is it like LFD's most popular cigar? No. Where Red Dot is, Cohiba's most popular cigar. And by volume. Um, also, um, uh, the toasting smells very nice. Obviously we know Dominican tobacco goes very well with Cameroon. Obviously the Red Dot. Obviously Fuente with Hemingway. Obviously, Fuente with Don Carlos. Um, so, strong Dominican Lajero with African Cameroon tobacco is a smart choice. Soft, gentle heat. I can't stress it enough. There's no rush. There's no rush. Taking our time, toasting that up. It smells nice. Joe is very good on this. We 
we get a very good bush. Um, however, like I said, that damage here, I didn't see it when I took it out of the box before, and I don't know, I put it in my shirt pocket. I shouldn't have, because camera owners is too delicate. Anything that happens is gonna be on me. I'm a regular guy, you know, I might put the cigar in my pocket, my, you know, my front pocket. I'm not putting it in my pants pocket, you know, I'm not stuffing it in my boxes, I'm not 451. You know who I get down with. I'm a sinner, but I repent, but uh, I'm not Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, I'm a natural man, okay? I try to keep the Ten Commandments. But there's things that don't need to be said. Like, leave children alone. Like, some people are like, well, okay, because it's illegal. Like, no, leave kids alone because you're a sick fuck. What's wrong with you? Can't you be like a normal person? You know, we need like the Ten Commandments. Don't kill each other. Why? Because you might want to kill someone. But try not to do it. Really? Also, um, don't bear false witness. Why? Well, that guy is an asshole. But don't lie and try to get him beheaded. Like, mind your business. Oh, also, don't take your neighbor's wife. Why? Well, because, you know, that's going to cause a lot of drama for you and their family. Like, you know. Because you might bear false witness. And then to get him killed, which is murder. And then you took his wife, and that's a three for, that's a three for three. Straight down to Hades. You get what I'm saying though? No, but there's no Ten Commandments about hurting kids. Why? Because that was just understood. Because you might you might get a murderer, he's like, hey look, I killed a couple people that, you know, I owed money to. But I wouldn't do that. And that's still the code. Uh murderers go to prison, it is what it is. Uh, chomos go to prison. Uh, you're not going to Gen Pop or you ain't gonna make it that long, I guarantee it. I can't stress enough, there is a difference. People that hurt kids have, have no place. Nope, there's, sorry, finish is nice. Okay. I already understand this cigar. It's a spicier cigar than the Red Dot. I don't explain it, but not as intense. It, 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 it's more red pepper, it's black pepper, it's also more red pepper, where the Red Dot has more cinnamon than black pepper. The strength is stronger than the Red Dot off the bat. But, but when you're smoking the red dot, the flavor, even though it's a little less stronger than this, the flavor is like, <laughs> it, it, it's just, it's like having a party. It's bouncing around. It's a different, you understand what, what flavor is lively? You understand what I mean by that? So, um, it's jovial. Um, this is rather nice though. You could put it in the same section as red dot as far as that kind of party, but there is major differences. Let's dive into it. Quite nutty as well. Okay. Okay. It's earthier than the red dot. It's spicier. It, it, it's hitting harder than the red dot. However, the red dot's smoother. This is strong on the red dot, so if you so let's simplify. People said, well, between the red dot and, and the and the LFD cabin and Cameroon, which one's stronger? Well, initial impression is the um, Cameroon. Which one's smoother though is the red dot. The red dot though feels more like a like a perfect blend. The blend is in harmony of itself. This feels strong on the red dot, but it's it's like a guy that, you know, maybe does a lot of arm exercises, but doesn't do any legs. So it doesn't doesn't feel that as much as balance. I'm, am I saying this cigar is completely off balance? No, we're zooming in and comparing these two like head to head. So yeah, I mean, I, if you like one, you're gonna like the other. Um, there is cinnamon on this cigar. It is not as pronounced as the red dot. The red dot is sweeter. Sacrificing for a spice, 
the red dot sweeter, sacrificing for sweetness. The LFD is uh, spicier. You have to choose what you want. Uh, off the bat, if I had to choose, we're talking about Cameroon cigar, which the cinnamon uh, and the nuttiness is the best part of it. I would go with the LFD. Uh, I mean, with the uh, uh, with the uh, red dot. Uh, is this still great? Yes, but well, we're just talking about head to head. Um, if I had to choose one, you know, um, like for the self, for the rest of your life, you only have one Cameroon cigar, and these are the two choices. Okay, well, then we can figure that out. That's for me. Now, if you say, well, I'd rather have the spicier uh, um, um, LFD, uh, for a spicier Cameroon, then get the LFD. Um, so, yes, if, if your only goal is just to have it stronger, the LFD is the winner. Um, but there's more to a cigar than just strength. Ha having a cigar that's harmonious, having a cigar where all of it is just like like an orchestra, just like, holy shit. Like, um, that's what the Red Dot does for you. But if you just want straight more, more power, then go for this. Right? You, you choose what you want. I gotta admit that's one of the one of the stronger um, Cameroons I ever had. If that's what you're going for, remember, I can't stress how much and, and uh, LFD use is, is very thick, layer of tobacco, and it's definitely in here. But I can't stress enough when you change the wrapper, you change the blend. So, so, what am I trying to say? That um, a hair of tobacco is very thick and very slow burning. Put this cigar in a dry box for a couple of days, three, four days, a week, it's not gonna hurt it. Uh, before you smoke it, because I'm telling you, I've had the camera before. I don't remember it being this strong, why? You buy it in a lounge and you smoke it the same day, an hour later, half hour later. And I'm telling you, lounges are too wet. And as we grow in this journey and holding ourselves accountable, just like with soft, gentle heat, cutting it properly, um, drawing on it properly, not too much, not too little, being aware about the moisture around the bands, uh, et cetera, et cetera, but, but uh, really giving a cigar a couple of days before you smoke it. We're not talking about dry boxing when you're buying to put it back in the humidor and then smoking it. Like, like a, as, as a ritual, after you, after you uh, buy a cigar and you put it in your humidor, but when you're ready for it, take it out a few days before. People, you can plan it out. Plan out your cigars for the week. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. Yes, is this a good cigar? It's very good. Is this strong? It's this is a strong cigar. Period. Let alone strong for, because the red dot I could say is a strong for Cameroon, but uh, but it's not like ass kicking cigar. With the drying of this cigar, and the intensity where it's at, I'm honestly impressed. I'm honestly, I'm, uh, finish is nice. The finish is nice. It's pretty long. It's pretty heavy. The red dot finish is heavier though. So, so see, the strength of a cigar is not everything when it comes to strength. The the, the red dot has a longer, a longer and a, and a better, nicer finish. So um, you choose what you want. Um, this is like the race car that goes, you know, drag race. Well, I can't use that word. This is the racing that goes in a straight line for a short distance at maximum speed. That's the LFD. The Grand Tour, um, yeah. cross country would be the red dot, you know? and, and, and I'm not speaking good or bad about either one, like in any manner trying to talk shit. Um, the red dot's the better cigar. However, the LFD has elements that are stronger. Stronger in spice, stronger overall. But the heaviness on the red dot is longer on the finish. So that's quite interesting. And this is this is even drier than the red dot an extra day. That is my fault, putting that in my pocket. So we're not gonna take any fault on the cigar. I'll take the responsibility. Be a, be a man. If you mess something up, don't go, I don't know how that happened. Oh, you know how this happened. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. You're doing drugs. You know exactly how this happened. 
<laughs> I gotta stop getting to this situation. You're pissing your money away on gambling. Whores. Right? And lose spending. It is nice though. Holding the smoke there. Burns going great. Like if you like Don Carlos, this is a lot stronger than Don Carlos. It's even stronger than like the Don Carlos personal reserve, but the personal reserve is a much I would equate the personal reserve more to like a, a Cleaver Red Dot that's a little stronger and a little more higher end. Uh, this this one is just like, this is a Cameroon cigar with a chainsaw. This is, is what it is. I'm actually quite surprised how strong it is. Remember though, don't just buy it at a lounge and smoke it. It's gonna be wet. And when the tobacco's wet, uh, you're gonna get worse combustion. Worse combustion means less smoke. Less smoke means less delivery of flavor. And you'll be like, ah, Richie, you said it's so strong. Man. So, yeah, water puts out a fire and moisture in a cigar puts out the flavor. I'm not saying dry it out for two years and it's a pile of dusty leaves. I didn't say that. That's a heavy medium to full right now. And I, that hurts me to say that. We're one inch in, and uh, <laughs> story of your life. Um, and um, that's a heavy medium to full. That is quite surprising. How dark is it? 65% darkness. So it's, it's a little darker than the red dot. It's a lot stronger than the red dot. But the finish is not as long as the red dot, and the finish is not as nice. So the red dot will feel a little less stronger, but more beautiful, more sweeter, much more cinnamon, and much more nutty, roasted, rich, salted nuts. Um, this one, a lot more black pepper, though, and a lot more red pepper. Like, wow, so. So, so when you're hitting it, though, it, it's like, wow. But then once you let go of the smoke, that finish dissipates quickly compared to the uh, red dot. Uh, and so I can't stress enough how important the finish is. I wish the finish was equal to the flavor strength. I like having a long, heavy finish. It is what it is. This does have something that the Red Dot doesn't though. And that is a, a, a very uh, strong uh, a dark coffee note as well. So it is what it is. Is this a good cigar? Yeah. Is this worth is your time? Sure, it's a box worthy cigar. If you're into Cameroon stuff, and if you're into strong cameras. But the more you push something, there's always a give and take. The Red Dot's at a perfect balance. Cigar's a little out of balance. But uh, more strength, uh, less flexibility with this one. More strength, but less flexibility. Like, this would not be a good Cameroon for any time. Like, early afternoon, or going for a walk in the park, or like, relaxing after a late breakfast, it's, it's honestly too strong for that. Like, this this thing, this thing is like, this is like, if you want a strong cigar, like, he smoked Padron 64, uh, you can smoke this one, you know, you can smoke this one, you know, it's dead tonight. Like this is, it, it's really impressively strong for the, for a uh, camera. And I got to give it that. Wow. Approaches. 
Great construction. Uh, hey, the Nuggets won, so everyone here in Colorado is uh, smoking weed and drinking their beer and uh, uh, nobody cares. What a stupid place. So, yeah, what am I doing that everyone else is not doing? Major rash, no touch ups. This one had damage. What am I doing? What are you doing? That's the question. Time to say goodnight. One, two, three. Wow. That's the most taps I've ever had. Wow. Impressive. That's some strong filler. Impressive. So, if you're looking for a strong Cameroon cigar, with the basis of being strong, <laughs> The LFD cabinet Cameroon is going to be up your alley. Is this going to be the best Cameroon you ever had? Well, it, it, it is one of the better ones. You know, coming down to the red dot, I prefer it over this. It, it, I would like the red dot to be at this strength level, but I would like this cigar, the, the LFD, to have the long, beautiful finish that the red dot has. It's a, it's a trade off. The LFD was stronger, but a shorter finish. I mean, much shorter. Uh, the red dot was a little less stronger, you know, but a more heavier, richer, um, intense finish. So, I mean, yeah, here's to you. What a stupid place. You're still going to get taxed tomorrow. People celebrating, you know, people throwing a ball and, and a hoop. You lose 40% of your money. Do you know that? 30% in the paycheck, 10% when you spend it. But it's actually worse than that because it's like 30% on the net, on the gross, and so you net 70%. But then on the 70%, when you go, when you buy something, you get about 9% tax. That's 9% on the, on the net, not on the gross. Now that I think about that. Well, yeah, because you get what I'm saying though. I think it's bad either way. I'm trying to think which one's worse. Oh, well, the gross should make more. So if it was 9% of the gross section, would be worse. Hmm. Yeah. I guess so. I guess 40% off of your gross would be worse than 30% and then 9% 9 on your net when you spend it. Right? I, I don't know. I'd have to find out. It's bad either way. You're living in Sodom and Gomorrah. I saw this advertisement on Facebook today of a glass that looks like a bird. And you fill up the liquid, it's a clear glass, and picture it's a bird, and it's sealed by the head. And it looks like a bird. And you pour in the liquid from the bird's ass. And then you drink your coffee drink out of the bird's ass. Sodom and Gomorrah, strange flesh. Literally, can you imagine you're waking up before you go to church on a Sunday morning, your parents are having coffee out of an animal's ass. Literally, debaucherous, not even hiding anything. Enjoy, enjoy whatever you're enjoying right now because God's judgment is very close. Um, this society will collapse, expect it. It is what it is, it is what it is.
things are going to get bad quickly. You'll see. Money is going to collapse. That's guaranteed. And we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, don't lose the faith. If you're only here for the physical experience, well, it is what it is. If you understand that there is life after breath, after you're done breathing, the spiritual world is more real than you could imagine. Now, most people don't want to hear that because that might be kind of scary to them. It's where you're going after here. But here's what it is. Here's what it is. Just because you don't know the law doesn't mean the law is not into effect. I can't stress it enough. This world, this physical world, is run by the god of this world, Satan. Look it up. Him and his minions. That's why everything you look around is evil. Is, is it an accident? Richie, if God was real, how could he allow all this evil? Free will, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, this was a good cigar. This was a good cigar. 4.4. You can buy a box. I mean, it's enjoyable. If you're it just, but the blend is not as good as the as uh, the Red Dot. The blend is not as good as the Don Carlos, but this is the strongest of the three of regular Don Carlos. So it is nice though. Surprisingly strong and a short finish. <laughs> so it's, it is what it is. <sighs> yeah, so check it out if you want to. That's the LFD Cameroon Cabinet Cameroon, whatever the hell. You're going to like it. It's strong. Oh, it's, it's darker for a camera. I wish that, I would just wish that finish. I wish that finish stuck around longer. So it is what it is. Strength isn't the only category for a cigar. It's a major category, but. So construction was good. Draw was great. Combustion was good. Smoke up, it was nice. We're done here. I wish you well. Stay fresh. Two showers a day. Um, eat your prunes. Stay out of trouble. Run from evil. <laughs>